And we are 10 weeks from the midterms and all eyes are on the race for Florida governor and who both candidates are running with. This morning, Aaron Parsegian gives us a deeper dive this week in politics. I'm Aaron Parsegian. Welcome to this week in politics. The big news, Charlie Crist is now an ex-congressman. He officially resigned this week, putting his attention on his run for governor, where he's also picked his running mate, Carla Hernandez Matz. An interesting pick as she's the current president of a teachers union in South Florida. The move has gained praise from Democrats and ire from Republicans. No real surprises on that front. On the GOP side is also a Pinellas-Miami-Dade combo. Incumbent Governor Ron DeSantis, who grew up in Dunedin, and Lieutenant Governor Jeanette Nunez, a former state rep from the Miami area. But all this talk about this position, the Lieutenant Governor, has us thinking, do most people even know their responsibilities? So let's take a deeper dive here. Since the late 60s, a change in Florida law made it that the Lieutenant Governor was elected alongside the Governor. The LG is the first in the line of succession. They take over if there's a, say, health issue or Hypothetically speaking, if the governor decides to run for a different office. Aside from that, though, they have no real legal duties. In some states, they preside over the state senate, but not here in Florida. Their duties are essentially whatever the governor gives them. The last time a lieutenant took over duties full time was in 1998, when Governor Lawton Childs suffered a heart attack and died in office, leaving LG Buddy McKay to serve last month of Childs' term. The people deserve to know exactly where we stand on every issue that matter to the great citizens of this community. Now, meanwhile, in the race to see who will fill Charlie Crist's old U.S. House seat, Democratic nominee Eric Lynn, a former Obama administration official, is challenging Republican Anna Paulina Luna, a Trump-endorsed veteran, to three debates ahead of November. The 13th district is a seat Republicans are hoping to flip, and it is favorable for them after redistricting. Lynn says he hasn't got a response from Luna yet. In studio, Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay.